All right, we're about to begin our lesson on point of view. And so what I want you guys to do right now is in Google Classroom, go ahead and log into, so follow me up on the screen right here. You're gonna go down to reading um, and you're gonna get into uh, trick or treat, it's called right here. Oh, no, 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 that's not the one. You're going into, um, if only this were real, it's this lesson right here, you'll click on that. Remember, you're gonna click on the assignment, top right corner, you click on it and this should be up. So once everyone has, um, and I'll get rid of these old ones. Once everyone has, if only this were real on their screen, we're gonna do a quick little lesson up on the whiteboard. So yeah, get this up, very cool story. We're gonna talk about point of view like we have been the last couple of days, okay? So but before we get into this lesson, yes, I see you guys all have it pulled up. Great work, you guys are amazing. All right, so check it out. Turn your attention up here, keep your story open. <laughs> Sorry, keep your story open. And we're gonna go up here and we're gonna review. Okay, so check it out. Addison, you ready? I want you to tell me where this one goes. I'm gonna blow this up. I want you to read it for me really quick. Yeah, here, I'll turn, let's turn the jams down a little bit. Ready? Yeah, go ahead, read it out loud. Are you tired of your old lunchbox? Do you wish you had a bigger, more stylish lunchbox? You're in luck. I have what you need. The Lunchbox 3000 is the lunchbox for you. Okay, now, Addison and everybody, what point of view are we getting here? Is it first, second, third person limited? Second first uh, uh, objective or omniscient. So what do you guys think? T turn to each other and tell each other real quick. All right, second person, you guys are on the ball. Now, second person, tell me why. If I were to highlight some, some details, what would I highlight first? What, what's uh, telling you that it's you second look, person? If, it, if you look around and see your, your in luck, it doesn't say like... You uh -huh. and your, right? Are you tired of your old lunchbox? Do you wish you had, uh, had a bigger, more stylish lunchbox? You're in luck. Who, yeah, who is it talking to? Who is this speaking directly to? It's talking to you, right? And we talked about this, advertisements and, and, and excerpts and selections that are speaking directly to the reader. Yeah, exactly. That's second person. It's, listen, it's unique, but not really. You guys are inundated with all kinds of second person uh, type literature because of advertisements. They're all around us. We just don't realize it, right? So second person, I agree. So would you then agree, Addison, that I need to move this, this guy over to, uh-oh. Oh, I need to move this over to, uh, second person right right here right there so that one is a second person we'll put that there All right ready let's do this one ready it says as the campers settled into their tents Zara hoped her eyes did not betray her fear and Lisa silently wished for the night to quickly end Third, third. Uh, I don't know about limited it's I'm definitely sure. third but hold on let's tell each talk to each other talk to each other so I think I'm hearing some of the right things right now. Elliot. You think omniscient, can you tell me why? And I'll, let me blow this up a little bit. All right, and I'm gonna read it again, tell me why. As the camper settled into their tents, Zara opened her eyes and, did, and hoped. Let me start that over. As the camper settled into their tents, Zara hoped her eyes did not betray her fear. And Lisa silently wished for the night to quickly end. Why omniscient? So we know, listen, we, we're all saying it's third person, right? So if I pull my old stunt, and I'm only bringing this over so it's on camera. Right? If I stand up, we know, you guys said it's third person, eye in the sky, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so now Elliot's going to tell us what type of eye in the sky. Go, Elliot. Omniscient because it's, they're saying what they're saying what now? What they see. So you're you're able to get the thoughts and wait. What is perspective? A character's what? Oh, what thought thinking. Thoughts and feelings. feelings. Yes. So you're saying, Elliot, I think that hey, Mr. T, I can see in. Do we know how Zara feels? Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
It sounds like she's freaking out, right? Sounds like she's freaking out. Do we know how Lisa feels? Yes. Yeah. Yes. yeah, we do. She's wishing for the night to end. Okay, now here's the deal. <clears throat> here's the deal. Because that third person, that eye in the sky, can see into the head of more than one character, Elliot, you're right. It's omniscient, right? All right, so let me throw that over there. Good job. You guys are really good at this, man. Better than I was as a fourth grader. All right, cool. So now let's read this next one. Drew, you ready? Yeah. All right. You want to read it or you want me to? Me. Uh, right. Go ahead. <coughs> but Ender knew, even as he thought it, that Peter would, wouldn't leave him alone. There was something in Peter's eye. When he was, when he was in his mad mood, and whenever Ender saw that look, that glint, he knew that the one thing Peter would not do was leave him alone. Okay, so what point of view are we? First, second, or third? Let's start. We're definitely third person, but what? What? Which one? Objective. Why? Why limited? You can only see in yeah. What is it? You can only see into one character, and I believe it's Ender, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So it's limited. Yeah, it might be. So third person limited because you can only see into one character's. What is third per, What is third person limited really close to? Do you remember? First person. First person. First person. First person you only get what? What do you only get? One. One person. You only get one person. So which one is the most reliable type of narration? Third person, but which one? Third person omniscient. Third person omniscient. Are we agreed? Third person omniscient? Yes. Why? Because you get to see everybody. everybody. You get everyone's perspective, right? Right. It's not you're not just seeing it through one lens. You're getting everybody's, right? Yeah. Okay. So let's do this one real quick. Oh, I know this one. Uh, let's have someone read it. Oh, okay. Ava, go ahead. Mm -hmm. I walked into class and I was very nervous. I forgot my part of our science project. We were going to present the class today. Our entire grade is depending. How we did the presentation, I could hardly breathe. I was so nervous. What do we got here? First Everyone? First person. First person. <laughs> if I were to highlight some things, AJ, what would I highlight that tells me it's first person? Yeah, I was very nervous. Uh, where I was very nervous. Uh, I. We. Uh, where do you see us? Uh, I think that. We, no, I, we, us, those kind of things. So who who is telling a story? Uh, we don't know yet. <laughs> we don't know yet. It's the character at this point. You would need a little more context, perhaps. How many of you are reading a book right now that is in first person? Ooh, yeah. You, well, but okay. So explain your book, Drew. Drew's reading Restart. Tell us why your book's unique. Um, like we every, talked about this earlier. Every chapter has like a new person involved with it. And they're they're telling it from their yeah. point of view, so it's first person. But each chapter is a different first person narration. And the book is Restart, and it's a great book. Yeah, so first person, you guys nailed it. Oh, I keep, I keep doing it. You guys nailed it. Let's get that right over here. That's first person. All right, <clears throat> last one. We know that it's going to be objective, but let's read an objective one and see what that feels like. He watched from a distance as the police officer questioned the subject. All right? Mm -hmm. So how do we know that's third person? Right? Because we don't get to see in what? We don't get to see, do we see in any any of the characters' heads? Do we get any thoughts or feelings? No. Okay? It's, it's objective. It's just an eye in the sky looking down and reporting right it's hard to write stories like that because without feelings and emotions stories are kind of what Boring. if you had to do an emoji what emoji would you do that for that one mm. meh. meh right it's kind of meh without human emotion right it reads like a police report right which are kind of boring um dependent i suppose all right so we review we know first second and we got third person, limited, objective, and omniscient, right? All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to get right back into um, our activity today. So let's read the story, okay? And as I read, 
I want you guys to think about what point of view. Is it first, second, or third? Um, if it is third, is it limited, uh, omniscient, or objective? Um, and then if you realize, if you think it's first, you really are going to want to identify what character is telling the story. Okay, you ready? And so now, as I read, I'm going to let you guys do this. You see up here, you guys can grab these little bars and highlight. You know this. All right. Hey, here's another little trick. All right, let me put that back. You ready? Here's something else I want you to do. This is called uh, the breakout box. All right, I, I invented this today. All right, I want you to grab this and you can resize it and shape it. And if you want, you can type in here, you know, it's, I think it's third person, uh, third person because, and then you could say it and then you can also highlight the evidence. All right. Guys got it? Yeah. All right, so I'm going to put all that back. You could do a little breakout box. All right. <laughs> I'm going to read and then I'll come I'll come right back to you, Ryder. You ready? Here we go. If only this were real. By by Jin Wu, okay? Here we go. Hashi. I stared at the clock behind my robot instructor. The school day was almost over. Then I glanced out the window into the blackness of space. Every hour of every day, the view looked the same. I had spent half my life on this spaceship, traveling to a lush planet in another solar system with five more years to go. I couldn't wait to meet my friend, Jerry, to play a new game. I had just programmed the 3D room to play it. The 3D room could perfectly create any scene a person imagined. And today, I had programmed something special, a trip to the past. I was so excited, I was going to travel back home to Earth, if only for the afternoon. Finally, the robot completed the lesson and announced, enjoy the rest of your afternoon. I knew we would. That was Yoshi, or Hashi. Yoshi from Nintendo, right? Okay, Jerry, here's Jerry, you ready? After well, first of all, do you guys have? Don't say anything out loud. But you got an, Do you have an idea of what point of view? What type yeah, of? Um, okay, what type of narration? Okay. So, after class, Hashi and I raced straight to the 3D room. I was about to start Pirates of the Milky Way when Hashi said, "Metavox, run the old Earth schoolhouse." The bare room changed instantly into an old-fashioned classroom, with a dusty blackboard behind a wooden desk. Sunlight streamed through the large windows. Outside, we could see white clouds, blue sky, flowering trees, green grass, and a playground. It was nice, I guess, but it was also a little boring. I had really been looking forward to chasing space pirates. I almost groaned, but then I saw Hashi's face. She looked so happy. If only this were real, Jerry, Hashi said staring out of the classroom window into the clouds. That's when I decided to smile and play along with my friend. Okay, so we have Hashi and her perspective and how she feels. And then we have Jerry and his perspective and how he feels. What I want you to do <clears throat> is I want you to partner up. Uh, I want you to reread. I want you to read both Hashi and both and Jerry, I want you guys to do your little breakout box and decide if it's first, second, or third person. And then I want you to highlight some of the areas in the story that might show how the narrator's feeling, right? Do you guys want to just decide right now what, what point of view as a class? Uh, everybody want to say it out loud? Go. It is told from a first person point of view, yes. Now, here's the key. Look at me, ready? This is the key. You gotta find out the character perspectives, right? Now, there's two characters, Hashi and Jerry. Do they feel exactly, do they have the exact same perspective? Do they? I, I don't think so, but this is where you're gonna do your breakout box. You're gonna explain his first person and tell why you know that. Okay, and then you're gonna tell how each character's feeling. And I don't care if you do a couple of different breakout boxes, right? 
to explain what's going on. So you're gonna partner up. You'll do that with both um, perspectives. Yes. Uh, so maybe you could like do the breakout box, type what you need, and then click on the line, and draw the arrow to which box uh, you want to highlight. Well, I don't want you to draw an arrow, but I will assume that the highlight is referring to your box. Okay. All right. You guys ready? I'm gonna put a timer. I'm gonna give you seven minutes. Seven minutes to get this done. Okay? And go. You don't have to do partners, but I am I, I'm gonna be looking to see who's getting right after it. You guys got about one minute to establish the partner deal and get into the reading. Let's go. <coughs> yeah. All right, good. Try not to bump my table because I'm filming. All right, you guys are reading, right? Let's get it. Let's get after it. I'm glad you guys can read to each other. Good, you guys. Good job. <coughs> you two can read to each other. Actually, Addison and um, Addison and Schreiber. Come on over, sit in these two chairs, don't bump the camera or anything. Uh, and we'll do a little short, I'll put it on my screen behind me as well, and we'll, we'll do this together, okay? Alrighty, Schreiber, why don't you kick us off? Alright. Um, well, if you, you want me to connect it behind me first before you get going? Yeah. Alright, I'll do that. <coughs> You ready? Go ahead. I started at. Wait, I, I stared. I stared at the clock behind my robot instructor. The school, the school day was almost over. Then I glanced out the window into the blackness of space. Mm -hmm. Every hour of my life, I view. No. Yeah. You? You looked, looked the same. Mm -hmm. I had spent half my life on a spaceship traveling to a lush planet in another solar system. Mm -hmm. I, ha I have five more years to go. All I right, so just based on that, how do you think how she feels about the voyage in the space? What do you think, Addison? Um, I think that he feels... Or um, she, right? So yeah. She. yeah. Um, I think she uh, feels kind of excited to, um... Uh, what do you think, Schreiber? Um, uh, we'll come back to you. I think that Hashi is excited to get to the new planet. Yeah, I would say that. Is that what you were going to say, Addison? Yeah. How about this one? But how about, let's read this. I'm going to highlight one. All right, it says, um, traveling to a lush planet in another solar system with five more years to go. Do you think that maybe she's excited and also, what else? Do you think she's kind of bored? Bored and tired of the trip, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we could say, let's type this right now. You guys can do it too. Hashi is tired of being on the ship and is excited to get to another planet, right? We got all that from what we just read, right? I'll move that down so you can see a little better, right? And I might actually highlight a little bit more of that, so, because uh, we got that all from this right here, right, Shriver? Yeah. All right. Hey, go ahead, Addison. Why don't you read the next paragraph? 
for us. I couldn't wait to meet my friend Jerry to play a new game. I had just programmed to see the 3D room to play it. Mm -hmm. The 3D room could perfectly create a scene a person imagined. And today I had programmed something special <coughs> to the past. I was, I was, ex I was, uh, I was so excited because I was going to travel back to home where hey, only, if only for the afternoon. Um, okay, so what do, what, how, how, how could, how's Hashi feeling now? How would you describe Hashi? I have excited. She's excited. Hashi's excited. All right. Hashi is excited. All right, and let's just leave it right there. All right, and now look. What down here, Schreiber, should I highlight that, that kind of shows that she's excited? Um, I, I could not wait to meet my friend. Jerry, there it is. To play a new game. That's it. Right? All right, so can you tell me, without a doubt, who the narrator is in this? In this? Hashi. It's Hashi, right? All right. Let's, you guys want to go to the next page? I'll read the last one. Finally, the robot completed the lesson and announced, enjoy the rest of your afternoon. I knew we would. That's another thing that she says that she's excited, right? All right, let's go to the next one. All right, I'm going to do a little breakout box right now just to get prepared. I want you guys to do the same thing. You like this? You like the name of this? The, this thing I invented? The, the breakout box? Yeah, it's oh, yeah. I invented it. Ah, that's right, that's right. I made it up. I just made it up. You like it? Isn't it easy, though? It is pretty easy, isn't it? I appreciate you saying that, Addison. All right. Go ahead and read um, Shriver. Start this one. Now, wait a minute. Now, whose perspective are we? Are, if we're looking at the text features, Jerry. we're getting Jerry, right? literally says that at the top. All right, go ahead. All right. After class, Hoshi and I raced to the 3D room. I was about to start Pirates and Pirates of the Milky, of the Milky Way. Way. Hoshi said, Metavox. Run old school Earth. Run old Earth schoolhouse. The bare room changed instantly into an old fashioned classroom with with a with a dusty backboard. No, with a black dusty blackboard yep. behind a wooden desk. Sun sunlight Dream. Streamed through the large window. Outside, we could see white clouds, blue sky, flow flowering trees, green grass, and a playground. It was nice, I guess, but it w was also a little boring. Mm -hmm. I I had been looking forward to chasing space pirates. I almost, I almost ground, ground, but. I, yes, I almost groaned. Groaned, but then Hoshi's face, she looked up, she looked so happy. How would you describe Jerry right now? Let's type bored. it in together. Jerry was bored, right? And I would say, what else, bored and? Kind of upset because we wanted yeah. to play. Upset. Yeah. Bored and upset. Okay. Now, what what can we do? To, what can we highlight that shows that he's bored and upset? Right? Yeah. Bored and upset. What, what can we highlight? Um, <clears throat> we could... I think we could highlight the... Um, I almost ground... Sure, I almost groaned. Yes, that's good. I almost groaned, but then what? Uh, but then you can probably also do. Yeah, give it to me. You can also probably do more. Like, wait, I, I got it highlighted. This is what you were gonna say. Look, look up here on my screen. Yeah. Yeah. Read it. Read what I just highlighted. It. It was nice, I guess, but it was a little boring. Okay, so it kind of tells you where. You kind of get a, a vibe for how Jerry's yeah. feeling, right? All right, guys, the timer has gone off. So I want you guys all back to the common area. I'm going to show you what our next moves are. I'll give you time to finish up what you were doing here, too. 
but come on back to the common area. Chip chop, I want to go over this. Uh, this is where you're going to need your reading workshop notebooks open, and I'm going to show you how to set up your page, right? So what we want to do is I want to compare and contrast Hashi and uh, Jerry. All right, we're going to compare and contrast Hashi and Jerry. Venn diagram. We're going to compare Hashi and Jerry, right? So would you all agree that these guys, do they, are they feeling the same way about this event here? No. 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 All right. So all right. So they're not feeling the same way about it. So let's, let's review what a Venn diagram is, right? So I'll we'll do it. We'll talk about it. We'll talk about it. Here it is. You ready? So we have Hashi, right? And then we have Jerry. I don't know. I, I keep wanting to say Yoshi. Then we have Jerry. And then we have what they might both feel the same way about, right? You see how I did this in the coloring? Yep. Not that creative. All right, what I want you to do is I want you to come up with two things that Hashi and Jerry do not agree on, that they're that maybe they're, they're feeling differently about. And I want you to come up with one and maybe two things that they feel the same about, okay? You guys think you could do that? This, I, I want you to stay with your partners and, 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 and get after it, okay? I'm gonna put up, uh, let's do a timer. I'll do five minutes. You guys got it? And go. Uh, and Schreiber, you guys stay right with, with me. We'll work together. All right. So. All right. So we've got, you ready? Take a look. Oh, I'm, I don't know why I'm yelling. It's just us. It's just us. <coughs> All right. So we have Hashi and Jerry. What are, what are, what, what are some things that they're, they, they're feeling differently about? Differently about. Yes, go. Um, they're feeling differently about what they want to use the 3D room for. Yes, so Hashi is excited. Go ahead, you guys, you can write it. Hashi is excited about the 3D game. And Jerry is not excited. Why isn't he excited? Uh, because, because what did he want to do? He wanted to use the space pirates. He wanted to fight, chase space pirates. Chase space pirates. And just so you know, Ms. Zapatelli, this is on two different screens, one behind me and one up in the front of the class. So. What's one thing, you guys, that they wanted to, um, that they maybe felt the same about? Mm -hmm. They both wanted to play on the 3D room. Yeah. Exactly right. Yeah, since we're already talking about them. All right, you two, I'm going to walk around the room see how everybody else is doing. I just modeled it for you and everybody else. Um, I want you to see if you, you guys can come up with one thing that they disagreed on or felt differently about and one more thing they may have agreed on, okay? Right. Go, you guys can work together. Yeah. All right. <coughs> Wow, look at this. Great work. Great work. Good job, everybody. Everybody's doing great work over here, man. 
Good, Ryder. Good job. Okay. So what I'm thinking, um, how about they both can't wait to get off. They both cannot wait to get <coughs> wow, you guys, in just a short time, you guys almost have these done. That's incredible. Good. Good. Oh, you don't want to hear a voice? Good. It looks like you guys all have a couple of things in there. Yes, you know. Good job, Noah. This is good work. What'd you say, Addison? Uh, for the second one, I'll she's playing a new game. Addison, great, great job. How are you doing under, under my desk over here? Doing pretty good? Yeah? Okay. Yeah. Good. Just in time, too, because we're about done. We're going to move on to the next thing. <laughs> yeah. I did. <laughs> yeah, Hashi and Jerry definitely had different what? What would we call it? Different. There it is. And there it is. You're starting to understand what that word means now a little bit. It's the same event. It's the same thing, but you get two very different points of view or perspectives because characters don't always agree on things, right? All right, common area real quick. This is the last time and I'm turning you loose once and for all. So really quick, let's talk about what we found in our compare and contrast. And I'm going to pull my one up from early, from the other class so you can see what they came up with. Okay, don't bump this. Don't bump this. Are you ready? So I said that Hashi likes the old Earth simulation, but Jerry did not. Uh, like the old Earth Sim. And one thing that they were both agreed on is they were excited for the 3D game. Did you guys have something else? Yeah, go ahead. <coughs> Ryder. We said they both like hanging out with each other. They both like hanging out with each other? Sure, absolutely. That's a very good point. They were friends. Yeah, so that's they had that in common. Yeah, Addison. Um, when I put for uh, Hashi, it was that she wanted to play a new game. But, um, yes. Jerry thought well, it was boring. Yeah. Jerry wanted to play the old game. Hashi wanted to play the new game. That They, they weren't on the same page there. Yes. Hashi, um, he, she was, like, really excited to see, like, the Earth again. And, and um, Jerry, he was just, like, bored. Like, this isn't that cool. Jerry's bored, right? Yeah, right? So, <laughs> here's something that my uh, homeroom came up with that I thought was really interesting. Um, actually, it was old Vinny, my son. Uh, uh, Hashi showed his true feelings. And Jerry kind of lied about how he felt, right? That's an interesting way of looking at it, right? That's that's pretty cool. You are going to take this Venn diagram, okay? And the stuff that you highlighted and the notes that you highlighted. Look at your little breakout box here, right? Okay? You're going to take that and you're going to use that information to answer this question here. This question, right? So this first one says... Hashi and Jerry are two different pers have two different pr perspectives about Old Earth Schoolhouse. Which three sentences show you how Hashi feels about it, right? So it's a multi-select. You got to pick three, three sentences that show you Hashi's perspective. Then this one, it is right. Then this one here. How do you learn about Hashi's perspective during the second part of the story, right? That would be the second part where Jerry's the narrator, right? Then here's the clincher. When you get down here, you're going to click on this link. Okay? It's going to bring you to a Google form. All right? You'll put your name in. All right? And then it's going to it asks you this. It says, "Use the information from your discussion, your Venn diagram, right? To compare and contrast the perspective of each character." Right? So, you're going to write 
uh, a little a, a paragraph comparing and contrasting the two different character perspectives, Hashi and Jerry. Has everybody got it? Yeah. All right. I'm going to give you uh, about 15 to 20 minutes and uh, get after it. Let's go. Get after it. All right. So. Yeah, still working with partners. There you have it. And I'll see. It probably won't let me do this, but I'll just pull this over real quick. There you have a lesson on uh, point of view and character perspective using the I ready, ready reading um, textbook and interactive slides that we've created. Hope it was a good one. Tadero, out.